Hey guys, this is Mr. Abbott. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tu tutorial of how to set up a project using Cakewalk. Um, so the first thing you do, once you get to this page, or if it looks a little bit different to you, once you've logged in, um, as long as you see this create button with the plus, that's what we want to do. So we're going to click on that. Now, the first thing we're going to add is an instrument. Okay, so I'm going to click on instruments here. And then down here, you'll see a keyboard, but you'll also see over here a drop down menu for instruments. So, what I want to do first is I want to make a drum beat. So, I'm going to click on here, go up to drum kits, and now you see a drum kit down here. Okay, the letters are the letters on your keyboard that you can use to play the notes. And when I say keyboard, I mean your computer keyboard, not your musical keyboard. So, if I push the letter S, That's my kick drum. If I push F, that's my snare drum. The G underneath it means the rim shot, so it's a slightly different sound. That's the G. Now, with the hi-hat, we have three different sounds because a hi-hat can make multiple sounds. So, nine, that's an open hi-hat, so it's quite loud and annoying. So, if you had lots of them, it would be quite aggressive. The closed hi-hat is O, the letter O. And I, the letter I, is a slightly open hi-hat. And then you can see the rest that apply to it there. And this one in the middle, middle B, that's your cowbell. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to record a part using these notes. So obviously if I was pushing it with my mouse, it's going to be really slow and difficult to do. If I can push the letters on my keyboard, then it makes it a lot easier. So I can do something like a, where are we here? We've got an O, an S, and an F. So obviously that's something you can't do with a mouse because you can't do two things at once. All right. so. Here we go. The first thing you gotta do up here is you need to go over here to the metronome and make sure it's green. What a metronome is, it's the clicking noise that keeps you in time. Ready? So what I can do is over here where it says 120 BPM, I can change the speed of it. If I click and drag up, oh, sorry about that. Let me press play again. If I click and drag up, it will make it faster. If I click and drag down, it will make it slower. Okay, we can change that later once we've recorded our parts because we're using MIDI instruments anyway, so it will just change it to the timing for us. So we'll start with 120. Now, here is 4-4. You can make it 3-4 if you want to. You just click on it and you change it. Um, you've just got to click on each side. So. If I wanted to make that 3-4, I'd just click on one side and do it like that. But I'm going to stick with 4-4 four, four for now. All right. So when I hit this big red button, it's going to start recording. And it will give me a four count. So click two, three, four before it actually starts recording. So let's do that now and you can see what's happening. Sorry about that. Let me go back to the beginning first. Now, I can't tell you why you're hearing a weird noise going through there, which is slightly different to the drum kit. Um, it's because I'm using my controller keyboard down here, which is a little bit different to actually using the computer keyboard. So, now we've got our part here. I'm going to double click on it. And you can see everything in blocks. So, you can see some of these blocks aren't quite lined up with the line. Oops. So what I need to do is I need to make sure they are, otherwise everything is out of time. So what I'm going to do here is with the magnifying glass, I'm going to make it smaller so I can see everything. I'm now going to highlight everything like so. Make sure you get all the way down the bottom. It's a bit hard for me to do it because I'm screen recording, so it 